Today, I'm comparing internet from two different carriers, one on my phone through a SIM card and one in this MiFi router. So I'm connecting my phone to the router to check how strong the connection is. And then I'm gonna switch my Wi-Fi off and just test the LTE speed of the internet in my phone. So when you arrive on the location, if you have multiple internet options, it's worth to run in a quick speed test on all of them to compare which one works best in that exact specific location. To do that, you can enter the site code fast.com and it'll start measuring the download speed first. You don't care about download speed that much. What you're really gonna be focusing on is the upload speed. So you can wait a few seconds for the speed test to finish. Once the download speed is measured, hit show more info and it is gonna start measuring the upload speed. The upload speed is showing up in megabits per second. Your video bitrate and audio bitrate together must be lower than this upload speed limit. Keep in mind that the upload speed may vary during the event. To be safe, divide the upload speed limit that you're getting from fast.com by two, or if the connection is not that stable, divide it by three, and you will get your target video bitrate. So in this case, on this connection, we're getting 13 megabits upload speed. To be safe, we divide it by two, so we're good to be using seven megabit bitrate. But to be even safer, divide it by three, so you're good for about three and a half, four megabits. We recommend three megabits per second bitrate for 720p videos, four and a half megabits bitrate for 1080p videos. We're gonna switch off our Wi-Fi and check our LTE speed. For that, we're gonna run another speed test. We're gonna refresh that window. It's gonna show us our download speed is much higher. So we get a feeling that the upload speed may be better as well. The upload speed using LTE with this different provider is showing as 63 megabits per second. This is plenty to use for high quality 1080p streaming. It really helps to have two different sources from different providers because one may work better than another on location. With this upload speed, I can be streaming in 1080p with great quality. I can set my bitrate to five or six megabits per second. You can also use the speed test app from Ookla to run your speed test if you have it installed. Wow, it's showing up to 400 megabits on this LTE provider. The lower the ping and the jitter are, the more stable internet connection you have. Even if you have an unlimited plan, some carriers may throttle your speed. What it means is somewhere in the plan, they may say that you have this many gigabytes with high speed internet. And after this limit, your internet is gonna keep working, but it, the speed is gonna be limited. May be a surprise during streaming a live event. So please check with your carrier in advance to see how many gigabytes you get the high speed internet. If your upload speed is lower than 3 megabits per second, then reduce your bitrate. You can use 720p and set your bitrate as low as 1000 kilobits per second. It's better to have a consistent stream even with lower quality than to have a choppy stream. Think of the bitrate as a measure of quality. The higher the bitrate, the better quality video is going to be. The lower bitrate, it may look a lot more pixelated. If you can choose between constant and variable bitrate, we prefer constant for live streaming because it's gonna avoid the spikes of bitrate during the stream. If you use the Event Live app, the app is gonna adjust the bitrate for you as you stream. If the network conditions become poorer, then the app is gonna temporarily lower the bitrate, reducing the video quality so that it can keep the stream consistent. So speed test with fast.com or speed test app can give you an idea of roughly how good your internet connection is, and it can help you choose the better connection. But to get a really good idea, it's worth to run a test live stream and see if you're getting any drop frames with your bitrate that you have chosen. And if you do, just lower your bitrate or choose a resolution of 720p instead. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out eventlive.pro for more resources for beginner and advanced videographers in the world of live streaming.